Welcome to the Two Brew Review. This week we are checking out Snowy Owl. This is a red rye ale from the folks at Sketchbook Brewing, which is in the uh, near north suburbs of Chicago. Um, so we are approaching St. Patrick's Day, and uh, that is a time when uh, people uh, will have a pint or two of a, a Guinness Stout or maybe a Killian's Irish Red, or some people like their green beer. Uh, so I thought I would uh, try a, a, a red ale, but something that's a, that's a little bit different and locally produced. Uh, so this has a touch of rye in it. So uh, red ales are usually kind of malt forward. They use you know caramel malts and they've got a little bit of sweetness to them and the hops are somewhat subdued. But rye adds a, a little bit of a spice character uh, to, uh, to beer. Uh, for those of you who are into your whiskeys and bourbon, um, the addition of rye in, into uh, those distilled beverages uh, adds a, a spicy character. So we should get a nice combination here of, um, uh, of the sweet malt and the spice of the rye. So let's get into this. We've got this uh, 16 ounce can. We've got, uh, there's the Independent Craft Brewer logo. Um, yeah, 5.6% ABV. So, you know, moderate to uh, on the lower end of alcohol, which is most of these uh, Irish ales should be. Uh, they, are, they are sessionable beers. Uh, says it is made with uh, caramel malts and, and rye malts. Uh, other than that, keep cold, drink fresh, pretty pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and pop this guy open. So color, uh, I'd say more of a, like an amber color, maybe getting a slight reddish hue, but really more of an amber uh, type of color. Uh, got quite a bit of uh, effervescence uh, from this one. And uh, these beers can be uh, can be well carbonated. Got a really nice, thick, pillowy head, though. Uh, very uh, uh, very pretty looking beer, if not as red as I, I would imagine it to be. Ooh, yeah. So uh, certainly getting the combination of the kind of the sweet caramel notes, but also the aromatics. I'm getting kind of a a, a pine uh, type of hop aromatic. Not really pulling the rye, but I'm sure it'll come in in the flavor. Cheers. Hmm. So yeah, good, um, good balance. Um, it, it's still pretty malt forward. Um, the hops are there. I am getting. Uh, it says it's kind of a West Coast uh, hop edition, which would indicate kind of pine and citrus type of hops. I'm, the, the hops are there, but I'm not getting it uh, that strong. I am getting a, a little bit of a of spice note from the rye but uh, it's got a, a fair amount of caramel sweetness to provide balance, as it should. Yeah, it's, um, I would call this malt forward. Um, I, again, the, the rye and the hops are definitely minor players in this in this beer. Uh, I thought it might be like a hoppy, hoppy red ale, but not the case. Um, got a, a nice mouthfeel. It's you know medium body. It's got some really good carbonation to it, so it really helps with the uh, with the aftertaste. Finishing very clean, um, semi dry finish because of the carbonation, but uh, otherwise a very uh, very clean finish. Um, but uh, yeah, very tasty. Um, I think it definitely stays in the lane of being a red ale, and it's not too hoppy like a. a I, I've had some hoppy red ales that are more like red IPAs. This is definitely a caramel sweetness, malt forward uh, red ale with just a little uh, hit of spice from the rye as well as from some of the West Coast hops. So yeah, very good sipper. So consider this, uh, consider putting this beer into your St. Patrick's Day rotation for your, uh, if you need to get your red ale fix on um, for the, uh, for the upcoming holiday. Uh, and, uh, hope you have a safe and happy St. Patrick's Day. Slancha.